tool for today's section of at the office with AB. I got a little update for y'all, man. So first off, I got a breakfast, three dollars for apple slices and sausage egg muffin. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a pillow with me. You know what I'm saying? For the back, and I brought my heating pad for the back. So you know what I'm saying? Today we're set. Um, I might go to an urgent care today and just check it out, make sure it's all good because my back is kind of achy. Uh, but I want, I don't know what I'm saying, I'm hoping that it feels better after a bit. But, you know, it's always good to get it checked out. You know what I'm saying? I'm stubborn. Usually I won't do that, but uh, I think I need to. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I ain't trying to go into the season hurting and not know what's going on. You know, feel me? I definitely can't play like this. That's for sure. I hate this pain. But um, I'm about a munch down, watch some House of the Dragons, then watch some Game of Thrones, and then call it a day, bro. Call it a day. The day's just starting. <laughs> the bad guys. Otherwise, you're heading them a sword to run right through you. Write the law for your friends and against your perceived opponents. And one more example, and I'll like, give you time to respond. On abortion, you know, a big issue. Project 2025 uh -oh. talks about cracking down. Uh, my dad loves to watch the news. So does my mom. I watch, uh, I watch it when they watch it. I've never really watched the news by myself, not since I was young. When I was younger, I actually used to enjoy the news. I still do. It's just a lot of, they speak a lot of, you know, what's the word? Biases. Which I mean, we all do. Biases and a whole bunch of, uh, it's, not, nothing, it's nothing positive, really. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, like, me, I'm, I try to be a positive person. You know what I'm saying? Especially coming home from a long day, sitting in the office. You know what I'm saying? You need a little positivity in your life. And I don't got a wife, so the only thing positive about this day is the Bible. You know what I'm saying? So when I read the Word, that's my most fun time of the day. Quite literally, because other than that, I feel like I'm just coasting through the day. But something else that makes me happy is food. And if you see... It's on 350. And everybody knows 350 either means two things. Cookies or actual food. But one way or another, I already had four cookies earlier. So obviously, I can't have any more cookies today. Unless I, you know, go pick up some. But I won't. I'm going to hold myself back. You know what I'm saying? But that means food. It's time for food. I'm really hungry. Um, don't know what I'm eating, but I'm eating. Um, man, you know, these last couple of days, when it comes to vlogging, I just, I've just i been like, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like forcing it. You know what I'm saying? But recently, like, if I really was to, like... Ugh, sit down. Ugh. If I really was to like just record all the time, I'd be forcing it. Cause I haven't really done much lately. But I'm out. Me and my boy Jay, I'll be seeing him again soon. He has me watching uh darn Game of Thrones. Good show, good show. But with me, when I get on a show, bro, I don't stop watching until I finish it. So I've watched six episodes today in one day, and I think I watched eight to nine episodes of House of the Dragons in one day the other day. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> That's not good for you. Please don't be like me. I try to do better. It's just so, I don't know. I just be sitting around all day, man. We've spoken before on this channel about how the Lord is the vine and we are the branches. And as the branches, the Lord is, he wants to produce fruit in us and through us. And so I want to ask you, if you are a branch on the Lord's vine, then what use are you if you aren't allowing him to perform his work in you and produce fruit? Now, this is nothing to get on anybody. This is something to encourage you and ask you, what use have I been and what use am I? You know, it's great to be a Christian. It's great to be in your word in private. It's great to be doing a fantastic job in your private life. But what are you doing to affect the kingdom? How are you allowing the Lord to produce fruit in you? Because I'll let you know one thing. As a Christian, it is impossible to truly serve God with all you do is serve him in quiet, in private. Because one thing I know is that true faith must be tested. True faith will present itself not just in the private of a room, but in the public hearing of an audience. I'm not saying you have to be a pastor and get on the podium. I'm not saying you have to get on YouTube and post your love for Jesus Christ. I'm asking how is it being shown in your day-to-day -day life? Do you show it to people you've never met before? Can they tell you the, through the way that you treat them? Are you doing deeds that serve and represent the Lord well? Are you carrying his name on the, the tip of your tongue and introducing him to people who need to hear his name? My question is, how are you being used by God today? And are you at all in the first place? Because the Lord has something for all of us to do in this kingdom. But I can let you know right now, no one person's job is to sit in their room and read the Bible every day and never produce any fruit from what they've learned. Do you think that God has, has, has given us this word just for ourselves to hold? Yes, he puts it in us first that we may learn and grow. But again, this growth is not just for us, but as a representation to God's people in the world to bring them to his kingdom to show the work that he can do in them as well. 
God wants to grow us in relationship. And then he wants us to show the relationship that others may see what God has done in our lives. What use are you today? What is the point of all this growth you've gone through? All this, all this that you, you have turned into, if you're not going to use it for the glorification of God's kingdom. It's almost ungrateful. And so my thing to you is, again, don't get down on yourself, but open yourself up. Yesterday, we talked about giving God access. And so I'm asking you to give him access to use you. You see, the day I realized that, I, that this vessel was, 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 was made so the Lord could fill it and use it, I realized I had to give him access. I had to take the lid off because as long as I left it on, I was dwindling the amount of the Lord I could, I could allow to use me. Again, this vessel was not mine. It's just I have all this flesh, and I, I do. I man, I, I look to to to. I dress it up. I put all this clothes on. Yes, but in the day, this is not my vessel. I merely live in it and, and take space in it for now. But as long as I'm here, I will you. I, I will. I will use this vessel for the glorification of the Lord because this is His designed vessel. I have. A, I, I pray and I, I give Him full authority to use this vessel. And I pray that all of us will learn to fully give ourselves into the Lord and submit ourselves to him to give him access that he may use us. Because what use is a branch if it does not produce any fruit? And it all begins with giving access to the vine to give us what we need, to give us the nutrients we need, the power we need, the strength we need to go out into this world and show the world who our God is. What use are you today? Because I'm reading Ezekiel, the 15th chapter, and God is speaking to Jerusalem and, and, and calling Jerusalem a useless vine, a useless branch. Forgive me. And he says about the useless branch, what purpose does it serve other than to be cast into a fire and burnt? It can do no, it, it holds no purpose. After it's been thrown into the into the fire and burnt, there is no purpose for a useless branch. Because my thing is, I want us to understand God has given us a purpose. And this world is full of futility. It'll show you any and everything and give you all these different ideas of what purpose is. But again, purpose is only found in Christ. And if we aren't fulfilling that purpose or looking to fulfill that purpose, then what use are we as branches? We serve no purpose if we aren't looking to serve God. How will you be used by God today? My point to you is just give God access. Because again, it's, it's never about you having to go out here and do all this by yourself. That's never the point. The question is, will you allow God to use you today and allow him to have access to you in your heart? that he may perform the work in you that it takes to produce fruit. The question is, when God wants the opportunity to use you, will you allow him? Or have you made it and set it up in your heart that you're only going to do so much for the Lord? Or maybe you're not really looking to do anything for God at all. To my friends today, get active. Find a Bible-believing church. Fellowship. Find ways to serve in this world. For God's purposes and God's purposes only. Pray about it. But don't just be a I read in my room Christian. I profess that I'm a Christian Christian. Show it in your life. And perform what the Lord has placed in your heart to do. But do not sit around and only worship God in the quiet of your room. Yes, we should. We need to take time to run away and, and, and get in quiet. Jesus took time to go away and get in quiet. But when he was out in public, he performed his father's will. That, his Lord, that the Lord may be glorified. So what are we doing to glorify the Lord in our lives today? How are we being used and are we at all? And if we aren't being used, it's never a question of where is God. It's where are we and where is our focus and how much access have we given him to do his work? Because God always has a plan, a purpose, and a promise on our lives. But if we aren't living up to what God has called us to do, it's never on God. It's on how much access we've given him to perform his work in us. Let us pray. Dear God, we say that we give it up today. Everything, Lord God. Doubt, worry, fear, we give it up and just ask that you 
Begin your work in us, Lord God, motivating, pushing, and furthering, Lord God, us further than we ever imagined. Our minds, Lord God, can hold us back. The look of how things may look, Lord God, how people may receive us can hold us back, Lord God, for many years. I denied fully who I was in you because I, I, I was scared of how people may perceive me. But today, Lord God, I say forget perception because reality is, Lord God, that you have saved my soul. Reality is, God, that there is an eternity that has only been given by you. And by you, Lord God, I am healed and I am saved. And so forget perception. Forget how I may be viewed because I don't serve any man. I don't serve not a thing but the Lord. And so today, Father, we say thank you for your son who saved us. Thank you, God, for all that you're doing in our lives and the work that you are producing through us. Let us be of use to you. And may you, for the rest of our days, Lord God, be have access to the use of this vessel, Father, and the vessels, Lord God, that are under submission to you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we all pray. Amen. Well, y'all, hey, y'all know it's live, man. <laughs> Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I pray you're live, man. Hey, I love it. Young and winning, we'll say that.